what makes a grass a grass? So here we are with a bunch of beautiful turf grasses and ornamental grasses, and then there's a lot of plants that look like grasses but actually are not. So how would we look at these and ID these to know if it's actually grass? Well, what we do as horticulturalists and turf scientists and landscape managers is we'll take a look at some specific features of the plant and that'll help us to know, okay, is this a grass or not? But also it'll help us to know which species are we dealing with? And so basically what we do is we'll go out to the field or wherever we're working and when we're trying to ID something, we'll just take a sample. And the nice thing about that is you got the plant in your hand, you can take a look at it. The bad thing about it is sometimes it's very small and hard to see. So often what we'll do is we'll magnify it up, take a look with magnification so that we can see these features. So one of the first things that we'll actually look for, I'll back up a second, and we'll just kind of look at the landscape itself. And so sometimes we can see maybe different shades. And so I'm standing in an area right here where I actually see three different shades of grass. One's a little darker green, one's a little lighter green, and then one's even more darker green back here and they all have different textures. So when we talk about maybe the leaf itself, we define that in terms of a texture. So if we have a very skinny leaf blade, we'll say it has a fine texture. If we have a more wide or fat leaf blade, we'll say it has a coarse texture. So we can see here, just right here where I'm standing, differences from a medium to a fine to a coarse textured grass here. So that can help us to know, okay, which, which direction should I go then? The other thing we can look at, just looking at the field here, is are there any inflorescence, or an easier word for that, or term for that, is a seed head. So we can look around and try to find out, are there any seed heads here? And so there actually are, and I can pull up a, a Bermuda grass seed head, and I can see it comes up and has three or four or five little fingers sticking out. Or if I had a zoysia grass seed head, it would just be a single spike sticking up out of the ground. Or if I had maybe like a Kentucky bluegrass seed head, it would look more, uh, it would be a panicle and be more like a triangle with flowers sticking out from it. So that can definitely help us. Okay, so let's get a little bit closer and magnify and look at this. So I have a Bermuda grass sample in my hand. And so after I'm looking at the texture, the seed heads or inflorescence, I'll, I'll take a closer look at my sample and I'll just kind of peel the a leaf back and take a look at the junction where there's a stem coming up and then if I pull the leaf back I'll notice as it pulls back it has a sheath or covering and that sheath or covering covers the stem and as I pull it back that sheath or covering comes off and then I can look at that junction there and I can look for specific features like a ligule so a ligule is, could be right there at that junction where I pull the leaf sheath back from the stem and I point it up and take a look and I may see some hairs there. So a lot of times on Bermuda grass you'll see a fringe of hairs for the ligule. There's other grasses that you actually see what looks like a little piece of skin and we'll say that's a membranous ligule. Okay, so the other thing I do is where I pulled that back is look at the, actually the back side of the leaf and just like my shirt here has a collar on it, I can look at the back side of that leaf and look for the collar. And sometimes that could be really nothing there, just nothing to see. Or you could see maybe a, a broad area of meristematic tissue, which makes it look maybe white and, and very broad. And we'll say it has a broad collar or something like that, where you may not see anything. But that can help us to ID. So for Bermuda grass, you don't see a whole lot on the collar area. Okay. So now, if I just look at the leaf itself, I was talking about the leaf texture. So this is kind of a skinny or fine leaf texture, but also I can look at, are there veins running up and down the leaves? Is it venous or not? And, and then can I look at the leaf tip? Does it come to a point or is it rounded or is it blunt? Or does it look like the bow of a boat? So that can really help me. For Bermuda grass, it's gonna be usually a pointed leaf tip. But if I'm dealing with the bluegrass, it's gonna look like the bow of a boat. So, so that can really help us to differentiate. So um, the other thing I can do is actually, if I were to take this stem here and just take a, a straight edge and just chop that stem right in half, and then I take a, a turn it towards myself and, and look down at like I'm looking down a barrel or something like that, I can actually see something called 
uh, vernation. And so sometimes these, it's, it's, it's the way that basically these stems in, in uh, the plant itself grows up as a stem. And sometimes that's more flattened or folded is what we'll call it. And sometimes it's more round like a roll of paper towels or rolled. And so you can look and see, does my grass have a folded vernation or a rolled vernation? And actually that sometimes can help you say like with a Bermuda grass versus a zoysia grass where one has folded and one is rolled. All difficult things to master, but once you kind of do it a time or two, it becomes quite easier. The other thing we have at Oklahoma State University is we have actually courses to help you ID grasses, not just for the students here at Stillwater, but also for the public. So uh, we have extension, uh, county extension offices where they can help you ID these grasses. But what's nice about it, get some of these tools in your toolbox, you can go out and press your friends and press your husband or wife and say, hey, I know what this is and I know how the ID features are for grasses. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Okay.